So I've had this uh, Meguiar's Hybrid Wax on here for the last two washes. And you can see, it beads up a lot, but it, it, you, you can tell it's not lasting. So the next step is I'm not going to put more of this uh, Meguiar's on there because the next time I take care of this thing, I'm gonna correct it polish it and put a graphene coating on it. So today I'm going to wash it with the Adams graphene soap. Today we're using the Adams graphene shampoo. We're going to see if this uh, gives it a little bit more of that uh, beading and hydrophobic activity uh, just from the soap alone. That'll be fun to try, right? And you get to wash the car. I was gonna start with the, uh, use the graphene. I've seen other people use the graphene in the foamer, but it doesn't foam up as good. But this thing, it's weird. It's beating up as it's foaming up. That's pretty neat. So we'll rinse this off next. Go. Time for a little pre-rinse. We actually washed the tires before we put the thing on the car. We already did the top and the front. And it's a white car, so it doesn't show anything anyway, except for dirt, lots of dirt. Rinsing in that bucket, washing in that bucket.
Does it feel slick? Like when you're, oh yeah, slick. Washing, keep rinsing. This is my first time using the Adams Graphene Shampoo. I thought it was okay. I mean, I didn't see anything great about it. I didn't see any great benefits in using it. Maybe it works better when you already have a graphene coating, but in this case, it didn't. So when I put the graphene on there and we do some regular maintenance washes, we'll see how it goes.